All right, well, this is going to be another unboxing video, this time of the MSI K9N2 SLI Platinum motherboard. So, I'll grab a knife here, and let's get your box open. Oh, really? Nice. Don't even have to cut anything on this one. All right, so what we've got here is we got the... Uh, Pretty much a quick start guide thing here. All right, then we got drivers and utilities. More, uh, more quick start installation guide thing. The actual user's manual, which will come in very handy. Then we have a. Two USB 2.0 port and a FireWire bracket. IO Shield bracket. Then we've got some SATA connectors, some uh, Molex to, uh, you know what, I've forgotten what these are called but they go into the new SATA motherboards or uh, hard drives. Then we got floppy cable and uh, normal IDE cable. Then we have some we're not going to be using, an SLI bridge and a DVI to HDMI dongle. And then we have we have our little quick connect jumpers. And then we have the motherboard itself. Now I'm going to shut this down for a second because I do not want to set that on anything or it would get static. And again, I'll, before touching the motherboard, always make sure that you are statically discharged. Okay. Now we're just going to put it on this box here. There we go. All right. Okay. So we have our 24 pin power supply connector here. We got four slots for uh, DDR2 up to, uh, oh, what was it? I think it was 1066 DDR2. Then we have our SATA connectors. We have our USB and all that good stuff over here. Uh, this is for the uh, floppy, or floppy uh, drive, which we're not going to be using for the IDE header. Then we've got. Oh no, I was wrong. That's for the floppy. That's probably another IDE too. All right. Then we've got two PCI Express slots, PCI Express 2.0, and another PCI Express 2.0, and then we have a PCI uh, 1 slot. And then we've got power for SLI. Oh, and when uh, an SLI works in 8x, 8x, but well, since it's 2.0, you won't notice any drops and frames. No video cards utilize that fully yet. Then we've got a really nice heat sink going all over here. And then we'll have our AM2 socket. Then we got our either 4 pin or 8 pin power uh, CPU power. And then we've got our legacy devices here.
for pop, for keyboard and mouse. Don't know many people use it anymore. We got Firewire, SPDIF, optical out. We have a DVI, DV, DVI out. We've got four USB 2.0 ports, gigabit Ethernet, two eSATA ports, and then we have our uh, audio. Which, from what I've seen, uh, is decent. So, all right. So that concludes this uh, video. So, all right. I'm gonna move on to another one.